In about 10 minutes, Angela made, you know, an awesome cream of mushroom soup that you can use in whatever you want to, in whatever kind of recipe you want, you're trying to make. Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Jason. This is our Creation Homestead. We're in the kitchen again today. And we're still more of the Homestead Kitchen Skills Series. Um, we've had a uh, good response to a couple of things. I've mean, to a lot of it really, but um, one thing people have said is that they wanted to see more of the uh, cream soup recipes, right? We did cream and chicken soup, making your own cream and chicken soup. And so today we're gonna do cream and mushroom soup, okay? Angela Kay is over at the stove. She is sauteing some mushrooms and she knows what's going on. I'm just a camera guy. I'm here. For, I'm here to be annoying and on camera. That's it. <laughs> All right. So here, she's she's the brains of this operation. Let's let's uh, let her explain to you that what's going on. In this pot, we have two tablespoons of butter. We've melted those, and we've took eight ounces of mushrooms. You can use you can use more or less depending on how much of a mushroom fan you are. And. What kind of I, mushrooms did you use? I chose to use Baby Bellas because I like the flavor better. Or you may see them labeled cremini. Um, or you can use just plain white button mushrooms. You can use canned mushrooms, but it's not going to be as good. And I've cut mine small. That, again, depends on how much of a mushroom lover you are. You want to wash them well and cut them up. I've cut them about like that. Um, Jason is not the hugest mushroom fan in the world. So I cut mine small. If you like, if you love mushrooms like I do, cut them big. Now, when you first put them in, they're going to absorb all of the butter and you're going to think, oh no, I need more fat in there. That's what mushrooms do. <laughs> the sponges. And then you'll see them release all of this liquid and you're going to think oh no i've got too much liquid then they will suck it all back up and that's the stage you're at now <laughs> and that's when you know they're ready i've seasoned them with a little salt and pepper and i'm going to add a little bit of flavor to this i have a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder and a fourth of a teaspoon of onion powder you you can add that if you want to you don't have to if you don't want to this just adds a little extra flavor and this one is going to be a little, a little slower than the cream and chicken soup, but honestly, not much slower. Honestly, at this point, you want to turn your heat down because that was over medium high heat. At this point, you want to turn your heat down to about medium. And you are going to add in a fourth of a cup of all-purpose flour. And you are just going to stir that around your mushrooms and make a paste around your mushrooms. And it's going, it's going to look like it's not going to work because your mushrooms have absorbed so much. Trust me, there's still more moisture in those mushrooms. It's going to be just fine. And you want to saute that into, for just a few seconds until that raw flour taste is cooked out. And you see that your flour is starting to moisten. See, you can see it's already starting to moisten. Because there is more moisture in those mushrooms than you realize. Now, we're going to start adding our liquid. In this cup, we have three-fourths of a cup of chicken broth. If you are vegetarian, you can also use vegetable broth. But we have three-fourths of a cup of chicken broth. And a half a cup of milk. You want to pour in about a third of that. And just like with the cream of chicken soup, if you've seen that one, you want to stir it around, let it absorb it. Scrape the bottom of your pot really well, let it absorb it really well before you add in your next, ins next installment. You want to do the next third. And don't pour it on the stove like I just did. <laughs> I tell you, I'm a messy cook. So, Jay Gooden. I hope so. And you want to stir that in. It, you don't want it to be lumpy. You want it to be creamy. 
Cream of mushroom. <laughs> yes. Cream. Not lumpy mushroom. Cream of mushroom. Yes. And well, I've got me some lumpy mushroom soup. <laughs> that just sounds wonderful, don't it? <laughs> Lump of mushroom soup. <laughs> okay. I promise you this is going to be so much better than what's in the can. And you can use this in anything you would use cream of mushroom soup in. Green bean casserole. I'm using it in a tater tot casserole tonight. And now we're going to add in our last third. And we're going to stir it in so it's completely smooth and creamy. And see, this is taking no time even to make nope. cream of mushroom soup. Well, we've been filming about six minutes, and it's... You've probably been doing this for two extra minutes, but so we're about eight minutes into this. Yes. Probably. Because it only took the mushrooms about two minutes. Yep. No, no long. It didn't take them long at all. Well, it was about four. Four minutes total. Four or five minutes, because it's two minutes before we started. Yeah. So when you're in, it's all said and done, you're probably going to have 10 minutes into this. So at this point, you want to add a little bit more salt. Because like I said, I salted the mushrooms and peppered them. But you want to add just a little bit more salt and pepper. And it smells really good. It does smell good. Even though Jason's not that big of a mushroom fan. Once you start covering up the mushroom smell. <laughs> See, <laughs> that, I don't know how this works. But it does. Jason hates mushrooms. Well, don't hate them. I don't hate them. I don't hate them. That's not, that's not true. He don't hate them, but he's not in love with them either. I absolutely love mushrooms. So it's kind of an odd thing. You're kind of an odd thing. <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> now you just want to keep this moving so that it doesn't stick or burn on you because it does have dairy in it. So Yeah. Coming together good. Enough. Dairy has a tendency to scald really quickly. Coming together good. It may take a little longer to thicken than your cream of chicken did because you have a little bit more liquid in there. Yeah. But it will get nice and thick and creamy. It took a little bit longer to thicken than your cream of chicken because. You have more liquid in here, and also your mushrooms release more liquid. It's about a minute and a half to cut, probably. But, but yeah. remember, it's going to thicken as it sits. Yep. So, you're nice and creamy right now. See, That's look good. at that. You're nice and creamy. And you've got a beautiful cream of mushroom soup. And I promise you, this tastes so much better than that stuff out of the can. And it don't have the mystery ingredients. And it's going to make anything you put it in so much better. Okay, so there you have it. In about 10 minutes, Angela made, you know, an awesome cream of mushroom soup that you can use in whatever you want to, in whatever kind of recipe you want, you're trying to make. Um, and it doesn't have the mystery ingredients that the canned stuff's going to have in the store. And just to be honest with you, I work in this industry, industry so I know a little bit about it. The prices on these, on these canned cream soups are going up anyways. I've already been told that. <laughs> so... Um, just telling you, it's not even going to be cheaper to go buy it at this point. It's going to be you're better off just making it yourself. And it's going to be better. No, mis no MSG, no preservatives, no, no hidden ingredients, no junk. And you're going to be happier for it. And you're going to be more independent. And you're going to be more, um, more able to just do what you want to do when you want to do it and you're not have to be relying on the grocery store no more okay so hey thank you guys so much for watching we do appreciate it and hey, my name is jason that's angela k over there that's art of creation homestead we love you guys god bless you and goodbye